Hey, it's Serge from SysSFN. Welcome to my new video. Uh, today, a big surprise. I wasn't expecting this. So we got a new update, 2020.32.1. And uh, it's already installed. But much to my surprise, there are some new features that I hadn't seen before. So we're going to check those out right now. And we're going to try them out. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so what's new in this update? So the first one is car left open notification. So it says a mobile notification will be sent if the trunk, the front trunk or any door is left open for over 10 minutes. If all doors or trunks are locked, notification will be sent if any window is detected to be open 10 minutes after leaving the car. Uh, so to adjust which notification gets sent, tap, tap controls lock car left open notifications. Notifications will not be sent when the car is at home if exclude home is selected. Now the next one is close windows on lock. Your car can now automatically roll up your windows when it is locked. To enable this setting, tap control locks, close windows on lock. So that's a great feature that I've been dreaming of having for the longest time and it's now uh, finally here. The next one is notification history. So easily review current and past notification by tapping control service notifications. For select notifications where additional information is provided in the owner's manual, tap the notification to view. And there's one last thing. Uh, okay, the next one is third party charging stations. So when charging at a third party Combo CSS2 charging station, the charge port will now automatically unlatch once charging has stopped and your car is unlocked to allow easy removal of the charge cable. So that's also very cool, uh, unlocking it uh, at third party stations. I didn't know that actually did it also at the um, uh, superchargers, uh, but um, I always press the button anyway. Okay, so now let's uh, look at these features. So uh, the first one is under control locks. Okay, so let's go into controls locks and we should have some new options da down here. So we are I already had the walk away door lock on. Uh, okay, so here we see car left open notifications. So it's already activated on car and windows. Um, the exclude home is turned off and close windows on lock is not activated. So we're actually going to activate that because I like that feature. And uh, so it just saved this setting uh, for me. And the last, uh, so that's all those features. Uh, now I think the other one was under service and where was it? Notifications. Yeah, so here it's the past notifications, door open, proceed with caution. I had the uh, dash can enabled to write. So that's great. You can now see the old ones uh, that you had before and uh, act, react on them. They're, none of them are clickable, it seems. Uh, so they don't bring you to, man, to the manual. Okay. So we're actually going to test the, uh, the windows. So we're going to leave all the windows open and we're going to walk away from the car and see if that works. Okay, so what I've done is that I've left all the windows open and uh, now we're going to use the app and we're going to lock the car. So here we go. And you can see that all the windows are closing. So that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, that's a feature that's really adding stuff to the value to the car. Okay, so now we're going to open the front trunk. So I'm just going to do this with the app and now it's open. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to leave it like that and uh, we're going to wait 10 minutes and we're going to see if we get the notification that it's open and uh, that'll all be very good because that means that you really shouldn't be driving like this and it will remind you to uh, close it. Now what we also did is we also opened another window here and we're going to wait uh, 10 minutes to see if we get that notification about uh, the window being open. Okay, one thing, I had to lock the car and that actually closed the window. Uh, so we'll just wait 10 minutes uh, for the trunk notification. Okay, now we can see in the app that it actually uh, shows the trunk open, uh, but we didn't get any notification because it's too early. So I'm gonna get out of the app and we're gonna see if we get a notification. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and we got the notification even on the watch. So as you can see here, it says uh, the trunk has been left open. So that means we have to go close it. So we'll do that now.
Oh, I'm so stupid. I forgot to close the trunk of my car. Good thing this new system of notifications helps me. And I can... Ooh, it's burning hot. <laughs> all right. And now we are all closed. And we can check the app to check that uh, we have everything. So we also get the notification here. Trunk has been left open. And now we can see that the trunk is indeed closed and the car is uh, all tucked in. All right, that's it. Okay, that's it for this uh, review of 2020.32.1. As you can see, some very nice surprises, very useful ones. I uh, always prefer these updates than the ones that add you games or uh, other things. We didn't do a road test uh, for this one because there were a lot of features to demonstrate already. Um, if it's needed, I will do a road test and uh, we will actually look at the new uh, behaviors. I'm hoping it will have corrected some uh, phantom braking also that I've been experiencing. So that's it. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you did, uh, make sure to put a thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe button and notification bell uh, to get notified when I release my next video. And of course, if you like one of these cars and uh, want to purchase one, I highly recommend you use a referral code. Uh, it's a link you have to use to start the order. And I put mine in the notification. Um, I put mine in the description below. And if you use that code, you get 1,500 kilometers of free supercharged electricity. And so will I. So it's a win-win. All right, guys, I hope you like this setting that's absolutely beautiful. We're in the mountains for some holidays. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.